What's going on guys? It's Pokepond, back with another video for you. Today we're going to have a look at all the new sets that are coming out soon, have a look at all of the set lists for those that we can see at the moment, and we're going to track all the big boys from Sword and Shield, see how their prices have been moving on sealed booster boxes over the last week. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe down below with the notification bell turned on to never miss an opportunity. All right, let's get into it. Okay, a couple of things we've got to get into around about the news in the Pokemon hobby at the moment. Obviously, the big news, every, the thing everyone's waiting for is Stellar Crown. Um, got a huge mainline set releasing on the 13th of September, so that's next Friday. We've been talking about Stellar Crown quite a lot on the channel, and you can see the full set list. Uh, we've gone through it before here, but I'll just quickly, briefly go through it. Uh, here's the illustration rares. Really like the uh, Bulbasaur, like I said. Uh, there's nice square. Oh, there's lots of nice cards in this set, actually. I do think it will do well long term. It's the first time we're getting rainbow bordered cards as well. I've seen a few videos of this being cracked open, uh, the Japanese set, uh, Stellar Miracle, which is basically the same set. And these actually look really nice in real life, these, um, these rainbow borders. They look pretty crisp. Um, and yeah, if you want to go see the set list, then um, it's freely available online. Uh, but that's the main thing that's going on over the next week uh, before I make my next video. Um, we need to start talking about Surging Sparks as well. Uh, I previewed the first half of the set last week on the channel. If you haven't seen that, then go give that a little watch or have a little search on Google. Um, we can only see half of the set at the moment because we can only see uh, the Japanese Paradise Dragona, which has been revealed, which is going to be half of our uh, Surging Sparks set, which is going to come out later on in the year and will be the next mainline set after Stellar Crown. And we need to start thinking about it soon. It's a little bit too early, though. Uh, what we're waiting for is Supercharged Breaker to come out in Japan. Um, so Paradise Dragona comes out this Friday. Um, and then Supercharged Breaker comes out the following month, so October 18th. So just a bit before then, probably a week or two before uh, Supercharged Breaker comes out, that will be the second half of our Surging Sparks, and we can then get a full picture on how good Surging Sparks is going to be as a set. Some people are rumouring there's going to be tag team cards in it. If there is, that could be really huge, and it might be a, a hype set for us to jump on. I think it's a little bit too early to tell at the moment. As soon as we see Supercharged Breaker, I'll let you guys know on this channel um, as soon as it gets leaked and it comes out. That's why you subscribe down below, because you will never miss an opportunity and I will keep you up to date with all of the news that you need to know uh, around the hobby. Uh, so yeah, Surgeon Sparks is due to come out on the uh, 8th of November. Um, which is a little ways away. So we've got Stellar Crown coming out and then yeah, about a eight week or two month gap to Surgeon Sparks coming out. Pre-orders are already up. And uh, pre-orders in some third-party websites uh, looking pretty crazy. You can't pre-order quite yet. Uh, it'll be coming soon. But sub £100 on a uh, booster box. Even if the set's awful, do you know what I mean? Like, sub £100 in today's money. Um, to put that in perspective, that's like $110, $112 or something like that. I'm sure in America you'll get deals like that as well if you hunt around for them on pre-order this is a new age of pokemon and a new age of seal collecting usually the general rule used to be you know you have to wait two years until it gets out of print window um and then well reprint window even and then you can start moving in and then it starts to raise above retail we're seeing crazy things in the market now, things we've never seen before, where you're getting 35% off retail on a pre-order of a brand new set where we haven't even seen the second half of it yet, and it could be fire. Like, this is crazy. Don't sleep on Ultra Modern. I know on the channel that I cover a lot of um, Sword and Shield because it's out of print window. Yes, those are great investments. Those are where the prices are really going to move, but we need to look to the long term. Like, is Surgeon Sparks ever going to be cheaper than £100? I don't think so. Like, I'm probably... I'm going to wait until I can see a little bit more of it, and then I'm going to 
buy in on a pre-order. Even if I have to pay a little bit more than 100, I'd rather wait and then see what the set's going to look like first. Um, but like I said, even if it's not a great set, I mean, £100 is just super cheap. 35% below retail. Just letting you guys know. <laughs> okay, let's have a look at what's in stock on Pokemon Center. Uh, Pokemon Center UK, Fusion Strike, how are you still in stock? I don't know. Easily the best buy that you can buy from the Sword and Shield era. It's been out of stock in the US for the longest time. And uh, as soon as it went out of stock, you saw that big jump up in price. Fusion Strike is an absolutely fire set. Don't know how it's still in stock. That's what I would recommend you buy if you're new to sealed investing. If you're not new to sealed investing, then you probably don't need me to tell you how good of a deal Fusion Strike sealed for retailers. Um, let's have a look what else is here. Battle Styles. Battle Styles is just going to sit there. I'm sorry, your money's better off in other places than Battle Styles. And Brilliant Stars. Brilliant Stars still available. Good deal. Astral Radiance still available as well. Madness. Like, Astral Radiance and Fusion Strike available uh, for retail here in the UK. I don't know what to say. Do you know what I mean? Like, this channel is all about pointing out opportunities and deals. Like, I don't know how how more obvious or how much of a better deal you want than uh, Fusion Strike and Astral Radiance available for retail from the official source as well. So you're guaranteed genuine product. It just doesn't get better than that, really. Let's have a look at the US then. US is doing weird things at the moment. Silver Tempest has been in stock for the longest time. I think that if I was in the US, I'd definitely be looking at uh, increasing my Silver Tempest. Uh, Silver Tempest is one of those sets where I think it's just highly under undervalued just because it's been available for retail for the longest time and it's never really gone out of stock. However, you know, Silver Tempest, the chase card in Silver Tempest, that Lugia alt art, is a fire card and I know it's worth a decent amount of money but I really think it's got room to grow that alt art over the next couple of years as well. And I could easily see Silver Tempest climbing up in price because the Lugia gets more and more valuable over time. Now, I know there's been a lot of people covering um, alt art singles on YouTube. I'm not an expert on singles by any means. So take what I say with a pinch of salt, so to say. Um, my expertise is definitely in sealed product, particularly in the U UK and EU markets. I do dabble in the US markets to see what's going on because uh, it's important to look at uh, bigger markets to try and get an idea of trends and stuff. But at the same time, they're two separate markets and a completely different market is singles. Singles, I know more than the average, you know, beginner collector, <laughs> but uh, yeah, don't take my word on singles. Anyway, uh, a lot of people have been tracking that alt art singles have decreased in price. However, they had a big boom period just before then as well. So things are just consolidating, cooling off a little bit. They're still way up on what they were originally. And, um, you know, as seal collectors, we have, a wider uh, timeline uh, in sort of baked into our head already and I think some of the single collectors kind of neglect that sometimes and if you look long term I really do think that um, some of the Sword and Shield alt arts will continue to climb and that will, in will in influence this sealed booster box price and I think Silver Tempest is one of those sets. The fact that you can pick it up for its old retail price, so $143 from the official source, I think um, I, I think people are sleeping on Silver Tempest at the moment personally in the US. Uh, Vivid Voltage, <sighs> Vivid Voltage I like as a set, um, it just sits in price. It's never really gone up since it, that's a lie. It went up on release because it was COVID and there was like weird things going on with manufacturing where like Pokemon was in like a massive boom. That was when all the streamers were doing box breaks and stuff like that. Everyone was sat at home. Everyone had stimulus checks in the US, stuff like that. So it did boom there because Pokemon just couldn't print it quick enough. Um, it has got cool chase cards. I do like the chunky Pikachu. I don't think long term it'll outpace Silver Tempest or Brilliant Stars or even some of these modern sets, Twilight Masquerade, potentially Surging Sparks. I just think it will get there. It will go up in price. So if you can get a deal on it for below retail, sure, go for it. 
but I think your money's better off in other places, unfortunately, than Vivid Voltage. Right, let's uh, have a look at some of the sealed. Um, I'm going to go through quite quickly, and I'm just going to do the later half of um, Sword and Shield price changes over the last week, mainly because I am just getting over flu. I've been so sick all of this last week, and I'm um, feeling a little bit better now, but I really just can't sit here and do... Uh, a huge long form video for you at the moment uh, so we'll just look at the big boys we'll whiz through them nice and quickly uh, we'll look at the evolving skies fusion strike lost origin astral radiance all of that and we'll see what's going on price wise because it's important that we keep an eye on these um, every single week really because they've got the most uh, room and most potential to uh, to move at the moment okay let's have a look at the big boy then evolving skies what can we say about Evolving Skies? Um, I mean, it hasn't really moved up in price at all uh, over the last week. We're in a bit of a cooling off period. I hate these new charts on TCG Player, by the way. Let's just zoom out a little bit. Let's go to the one-year chart. If you actually zoom out and look at the, uh, the wider picture, you can see from here, so March 19th, uh, about here, we're basically just flatlined since March. Um, really positive actually to not see any massive dips dip down in price people are just happy that this is an agreed price it means that evolved skies is being bought and sold changing hands for around about the 670 to 700 dollar range brilliant great for evolved skies do i think there's more room for it to grow yes absolutely um, be very careful about these average charts as well. TCG average charts aren't very good, uh, particularly at the moment as well. They get thrown off quite easily. Like you can see last week, the average was around about 677. And then this week it's 674. That would lead you to believe that it's dropping in price. Um, but when we actually look at the last sales data, last sale is uh, $699, basically 700. Um, there's another one here, three sold. Um, for 699 uh, so yeah seems like the the going price is 700 that's about what it has been recently as well just be very careful with these average charts um, they can give a little bit of a skewed figure uh, let's have a look at the UK market then cheapest at the moment on a buy now for a sealed evolving skies is 600 um, which is a if you compare it to what it was about eight weeks ago it's about what it was what it was they were going for about 580 um about six to eight weeks ago um so about two months ago so again we've seen a bit of a flat line however pay attention to this guys so cheapest buy it now 600 next cheapest 675 that's quite a jump now i know percentage wise that's not a huge jump um but that is a decent amount of money uh 75 quid or basically like what ninety dollars is the difference between one sale interesting keep an eye on evolving skies or just watch the video each week and i'll keep you updated on what's going with evolving skies um let's have a look at what they're actually selling for then um so there's quite a few here um that are like best offer accepted those are two half booster boxes together um yeah 675 best offer accepted so we don't know what that sold for 625 is last sale and it actually sold on the third so what four days ago so that's a good indication of uh, what they're going for at the moment 625 so the cheapest 600 here on a new listing that seems fairly reasonable to me uh, seems like a little bit of a dump from this guy um but yeah what you also need to bear in mind with evolving skies and i don't always talk about this too much is um for evolving skies to move up um let's say 10 percent in price in price okay um you have to have a 60 pound price increase okay um for an ultra modern set to move up 10 percent in price say you're buying it for below retail like on a pre-order say surgeon sparks you buy it for 100 pound for it to go up 10% in price, it only needs to go up one pound or one dollar. Um, so this is something we need to start bearing in mind. Yes, I do think Evolving Skies has got a lot of room to grow in the future, 
but please do not sleep on Ultra Modern either. Yes, you will have to sit on it for a while to see the serious price gains, but a hundred pound for an Ultra Modern booster box when retail is like 160 is pretty crazy. Um, and like I said, it takes much less of a price increase to get those percentage gains. Like I said, a hundred pound, if it goes up one pound, which is so easy to do. It can just do that in one sale. It can do that in a, in a day, in a couple of hours. It could go up one pound. That's a ten. Uh, sorry, that's a one percent price rise. God, I sound stupid now. So to, for a ten percent price rise, it would need to go up ten pound. Ten pound is not a lot. Whereas for Evolving Skies to go up ten percent, it's got to go up sixty. Just something to bear in mind. Okay. Um, right, Fusion Strike. <sighs> This is what I don't like about TCG player and its charts now at the moment. Look, you look at this chart, yeah, last three months, you're like, oh no, it's dropping in price. Like, everyone's dumping Fusion Strike. It's like, yeah, but they're not. Like, okay, let's just zoom out. Look, we're just basically flatlined again since it went out of stock in March. Um, went out of stock in, well, February. Mid-February to March, we saw a massive climb up from 160 up to 216. And it's just sat there. It's just stable. And even when we look at this like pr apparent price drop, it's gone from 235 to 216. But then let's have a look at last sales. Okay, what's the last sales of a genuine one? Okay, 216, 216, 216, 216. Okay, what's it going to take for it to go back up to 237, 243 at its peak? Do you know what I mean? That's a swing of what? Around about 10%? just over 10%. It's dropped since its peak in midsummer. I really don't think that Fusion Strike is crashing, but I mean, technically, yeah, that's a that's a little bit of a discount on its peak. And if you want to buy into it now and you're in the US, it's, it's a possible option. We have pointed out on the channel um, not that long ago as well that the US can actually pick up Fusion Strike um, in smaller unit sizes. So you can get like the sleeved uh, booster packs and some of the blisters, you actually can get a better pack to cost, cost ratio than on the booster box at the moment. So keep an eye on that as well. Doesn't always need to be sealed booster boxes. Sealed booster boxes are always the safest bet for a long-term investment because they're the most desirable product. Um, but there are pre plenty other sealed products out there that do well over time as well. And sometimes, you know, you need to have a look and break down the uh, the pack to cost ratio. I would steer clear, especially if you're new to sealed investing, from buying loose booster packs that aren't in like any cardboard or plastic or anything like that, because uh, they are harder to sell on the back end. And um, you know, sealed products command a little bit more of a premium. Let's have a look at um, at cheapest in the UK at the moment then. Sorry, I'm still a little bit fluey. Um, so I'm just trying to get through this for you. Um, cheapest you can get is, uh, someone's dumping a case here. Be very careful, right? Okay, so 145, that looks like a good deal. Um, just be careful because they're trying to finesse you on postage. Uh, looks like they've got four for sale. So yeah, they're dumping a case of Fusion Strike. I don't like this behavior, charging £12.15 for postage. There's a reason why people do that. There's a couple of reasons why. Uh, one, they sometimes do it so that it looks like a more attractive price and then they finesse you on the postage so they make more off the back end. Two, um, there's like less fees sometimes if you do um, postage. And also as well, if it's like a VAT seller as well, sometimes they can like claim back, I don't really know how it works, but they claim back some of the uh, the tax because it's not part of like the sale price um, so the the postage is like a cost of sale so they're not paying like a, a profit percentage to the tax man on that I don't like it personally I think in 2024 on eBay there should be no postage costs I never put any postage costs on just include it in your bottom line I get it you want to be the first person that comes up when someone searches for the lowest price but I think in 2024, just do free postage, include it in your costs, even if you have to pay an extra one pound or one dollar to the tax man or whatever. This is just not ethical, in my opinion. Plus, I'm sorry, but as someone who's sold lots of 
sealed booster boxes. Even if I was shipping an Evolving Skies and I was putting it in a proper like shoebox and I was like padding all around it and making it perfect so that it can't get damaged, it's still not going to cost me £12.15 to ship. That's just a ridiculous shipping figure and I'm calling this guy out for it. Um, be careful. So it is not 145 is the cheapest. It's 157, which is quite a jump, which is going from a little bit over retail to like way over retail. Fusion Strike Sealed is available on the Pokemon Center um, right now. Don't give this guy your money. I'm calling it out. Uh, this as well, where like eBay's showing 0% uh, for feedback rating, this is a visual glitch. So um, don't don't read too much into the 0%. When you actually click into people, if ever it says 0%, uh, then you can see the real feedback score. Um, but always, always check out your sellers. I mean, I haven't even checked out these boxes. These could be fake for all I know. I mean, they kind of look good from a distance. Um, but yeah, just, just be cautious about people trying to finesse you on postage. I don't like seeing it in our market. At the end of the day, um, I think that Pokemon as a hobby as a whole, even though um, some people don't like us as sealed collectors and they see us as ruining the hobby, um, everyone I've ever met in Pokemon is a friendly person. And I think that it's a great thing in our community. And I don't like to see this. I don't like to see people dumping a case and then trying to finesse you on postage. Just keep an eye out for it. In fact, even if it wasn't available on Pokemon Center, um, I would probably rather buy it from this guy. I'd pay a couple of pounds more to not buy it on someone who's trying to scam on postage. Um, so yeah, that's just where I'm at with it. Okay, rant over. <laughs> Let's see what they're actually selling for then. Um, last sales here in the UK. Uh, a couple of days ago, two days ago, 155. Uh, so a little bit over retail. Like I said, you may as well just buy it from Pokemon Center for 143. Uh, Fusion Strike. Um, I wanted to point this out when I was having a look this morning. The actual last sale on Fusion Strike is a case. Um, and it's sold today. So it's sold this morning. Someone got a crazy deal on this. Um, sealed case of Fusion Strike. Ah, uh, Okay. I see, I see where things have gone awry now. <laughs> I read this originally as this was a sealed case of uh, booster boxes, but it's not. It's a sealed case of half booster boxes, which is why it's going a little bit cheap. But still, 800 is still a pretty good deal. So 800 uh, divided by 12, 66 pound, um, the curse number on the half booster box. Um, still pretty cheap, so 132 on the booster box price. But I thought I thought when I read this first time, this was this was full booster boxes. So that's my bad. I was going to point that out to you guys, but it's not as good a deal as I thought. Right, let's have a look at the other big boys then. Lost Origin doesn't seem to be affected by everyone else having a bit of a cooling off period. Uh, again, stable prices it looks here, uh, 213 to 212. Let's have a look at last sales here in the US. Um, yeah, 213. Two for 208, that's a pretty good deal. 213. Can oh someone got a really good deal here. 197, 197. If you can pick up Lost Origin in the US for below two hundred dollars, I think you're doing alright for yourself. I don't think you're gonna see anything more uh any more reprints of it. And the Giratina, everyone just seems to love it. <laughs> that Giratina alt art chase card from from this set just seems to be doing bits. Um, even if it has cooled off a bit with the alt arts uh, dropping down in price, let's look long term. Do you know what I mean? It's such an iconic card. I think it will uh, continue to do well. Lost Origin. Uh, cheapest you can buy it in the UK right now. <sighs> Unfortunately, it's the same guy. Looks like he's dumping a case of Lost Origin as well. Keep an eye on this guy. Do you know what I mean? If he's going to finesse you on postage, is he going to finesse you on fake boxes? I don't know. I'm not saying he's got fake boxes, but I haven't taken the time to go and look at these photos yet. Um, the colours do look a little bit off though, don't they? From uh, from his photo here of this one to someone else. It could just be the lighting. It does look a bit oversaturated, oversaturated but... Uh, should we actually have a look at them? Go on, I wanted to make a quick video, but... It's a bit of a blurry photo. 
and it is a little bit oversaturated so he's not doing himself any favours the pokeballs look pretty good I'm not saying this is a perfect legit check but yeah that does look pretty clean sorry <laughs> I just need to look now because <laughs> yeah that looks pretty legit the way they're rubbing off like that I've had quite a few like that okay 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 we'll give him the benefit of the doubt he's just taking rubbish blurry photos of it I'm not saying those are real but um, they they look alright to me um, okay let's just move on let's go uh, astral radiance so astral radiance I said people are sleeping on it so you can still pick it up for retail on Pokemon Center US uh, you can still pick it up for retail uh, on actually you can't pick up on the US one can you uh, let's have a look US one no you can't okay you can pick it up on the UK one that's why I was getting confused uh, as for radiance let's have a look then uh, basically like retail price though uh, in the US let's have a look at last sales last sale uh, one uh, three for 157 uh, one for 168 so again if you can get it for around about the $160 mark I think you're doing alright on Astral Radiance some people don't like it as a set but I think it'll do well long term and not many people are putting it away you can get it so cheap here in the UK so you can buy it from Pokemon Center for 143 look at this though 128 new listing um, in the UK this is mad. 128 quid for a sealed Astral Radiance. I might have to buy this myself before I put the video out. <laughs> uh, maybe. Maybe not. Um, maybe I'll save my money for uh, for some Stellar Crown or some Surging Sparks. Um, let's have a look at what they're selling for. Look, they're selling for below retail here as well. Last sale, uh, 133.39. Really good deal. I really like Astral Radiance. Be cautious about the elite trainer boxes though. There are a dime a dozen. There's so many of them available. Uh, just be careful. If you're going to buy into elite trainer boxes, just realize that it's a different market from um, uh, from your uh, sealed booster boxes. What I tend to do with elite trainer boxes to see if you're getting a good deal is just take the cost and just divide it by the packs to get an idea. That four, 474 for a pack, that's not a great deal. Um, uh, then if we look at booster box last sold price 135 divided by 36 see 375 that's a much better deal uh, I know it's a, a bigger cost to get involved but they're just more more desirable as well sealed booster boxes easier to sell on the back end uh, let's have a look at brilliant stars then brilliant stars I think um, is an interesting one because it had a really big climb up when it went out of stock uh, over here in the US and then it sort of consolidated down at around about July to around about the 180 mark and now it's just kind of slowly creeping up uh, to around 185 let's see what they're actually selling for 186 186 186 185 UK sleeping on brilliant stars so there's a lot of it available in the UK right now for retail and below retail in some cases and again it's one of those sets where you've got a fire chase card um, it seems like a no brainer to me do you know what I mean like late sword and shield alt art chase card in the set I think it's going to do really really well long term do you know what I mean? Buy these for retail in the UK and just sit up, sit on them for two, three years. It's this guy again, isn't it? This guy's just determined to come up as the cheapest in the UK. Look, he's selling one, two, three, four. So this guy, hang on a minute. So he's dumping a case of Fusion Strike, Astral Radiance, and Brilliant Stars. I wonder how many other sets I could look at and he's dumping a case of them. Like, just be cautious with this guy. All right, fire and fury. Just be cautious. Uh, 135, but he's then finessing on postage. So 147. I mean, you may as well just buy it from Pokemon Center for that price. You can, you might even be able to get it cheaper than that elsewhere if you look around all the big uh, toy retailers. Uh, you may be able to get it for retail uh, then and there, or um, or a little bit below. Maybe you can get a get a deal, uh, an in-store deal. 
I would definitely check it out. Let's have a look at what they're selling for then on eBay. Um, it's a little bit tricky because there's best offer accepted here, 150. That's we don't know what that sold for. So here, 155. Um, this is a legit guy as well. I've seen him sell a lot. This uh, Dan G collects. Uh, 155. Who bought this, guys? 31st of August. So last week, someone bought one for 195. Why? What am I missing? <laughs> Why did someone pay 195 for a brilliant stars? Like, they're available for retail, and like even on eBay, they're like they're for 150, 155. I don't know. Baffles me. Right, let's finish off with a bit of Silver Tempest. Silver Tempest again. I think that people are sleeping on it. Brilliant chase card. You've got the Lugia, Alt Art. You can buy it in the US for retail. You can buy it in the UK for retail as well. Um, looks like a dip on the charts, but it kind of isn't. We know that. Even if it has dipped a bit, we're talking, what, 1%, 2% swings? Um, once you zoom out, look, six-month chart, look, it's just flatlined. So we won't pay too much attention to a 2-3% swing either way on Silver Tempest at the moment, especially when it's available uh, for retail basically everywhere, um, all around the world. Brilliant set. I think it's going to do great long term. Huge fan of the Lugia card. I would say the Lugia card is one of my top three cards, actually, from all of Sword and Shield. <laughs> so I'm putting it right up there as a top set. Uh, there's just a lot of it about at the moment, but that doesn't mean that there's going to be a lot of it about in two years' time. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Uh, cheapest you can buy on eBay UK right now is £140, so below retail, and you can get a, get a nice minty box. And uh, let's see what they're selling for. One here for 150 so 140 seems like a good deal. Uh, 145 best offer accepted, 143 so just a little bit below retail. Or if you're scared of eBay or you don't really do eBay, uh, you can just buy it uh, from Pokemon Center. Um, actually not available on Pokemon Center UK at the moment. I tell a lie, it usually is. Um, might come back in stock, might not. Is available in stock on the US. Anyway guys, hope you guys enjoyed. I tried to make it a little bit of a quicker one. Uh, this week, as I said, I'm a little bit ill, but I really wanted to still put a video out for you guys. Uh, the highlights to take away are Stellar Crown, out next week, out next Friday. Uh, be interesting to see what the pool rates like that are for English. And then, um, yeah, in like eight, nine weeks, Surgeon Sparks. As soon as I see the uh, second half of Surgeon Sparks set list revealed, I'll let you guys know. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Make sure you subscribe down below to never miss an opportunity. Peace.